Have you ever been to an animal shelter and wondered what's going on while they're closed? What do the employees do there? How much work does an animal shelter really need? I wanted to answer this question for myself, so for my senior project, I chose to volunteer at the Bernalillo County Animal Care and Resource Center. Welcome, come on in. Please sign in on the iPad when you get there. Cool. Hello, my name is Julian Palma. I'm a senior at Amyville High School, and for the last couple of months, I've been volunteering at the Bernalillo County Animal Shelter. During my time here, I've learned a lot about what the shelter does for their animals and the community. Some things that I didn't expect for the shelter was how much of an impact this place would have on me. I worked in many different places here, like socializing animals, cleaning kennels for the animals, and helping out around the shelter, like setting up for events or making toys for the animals. I've had a lot of different experiences here, but one that I won't forget happened on my first day when I was asked to take one of the dogs out to the yards to socialize. When I opened the door to try to leash him, he bolted out and ran down the hall. I was so embarrassed, but luckily one of the employees was there to help me get him. Uh, this little guy just dipped on me. <laughs> ran off. First, uh, escape artist. After this, I was scared to take out the dogs to the yards, but fortunately I had a really nice coworker to teach me a better way to leash the dogs so they won't escape. This is Taylor. She's always been there to teach me how to do different things around the shelter and was always in such a good mood, which was really nice because we would have such a good time even during work. Now moving on to my mentor, Donald. I met him on my first day at the shelter and he's always helped me find different things to do there. He's also introduced me to a lot of really nice people at the shelter to teach me a little bit of what they do there. I'm so glad I was able to meet him and I'm very thankful for everything he has done to help me during my time there. I had two goals that I made over the course of volunteering at the shelter. These were to help train some of the animals there at the shelter and another one was to help set up some of the events they have. Over time, I changed my first goal because while I was there, I learned that a good amount of time spent moving the animals, we were able to train them to sit, not jump, and be more calm. So I changed it to learn a little more about the technology used at the shelter. When I created my new goal about learning the technology used at the animal shelter, I was able to connect it to my CNM class that I was currently taking for dual credit, which is a technology class about everyday devices and how they are connected to the internet. So I asked my mentor about the technology user and how important it is to the shelter. I learned a lot about the technology, including a database where they have all the information of the animals, including their medication, behavior history, and how to contact their owners. Another piece of information they use are the RFID door locks. They have these in all the doors where only staff are allowed, and they are really helpful to keep people out of areas they're not supposed to be. Another important piece of technology used there is the kiosk tablet at the front door as soon as you walk in. When someone walks in, they have to sign in by entering their name, information, and why they are there. Then you take a picture so someone can attend you as fast as possible. I want to give a huge thanks to all the volunteers there and anyone who has helped out the shelter in any other way because after volunteering there for a while I realized how much help the shelter really needs and how much of a difference every volunteer makes there. I also just want to add that if you ever feel like stopping by at the shelter, feel free to do so. There are many ways to help out the shelter like donating food, litter, money, fostering, or even just to stop by and say hi to some of the animals here. It makes their day a lot more exciting. And if you're struggling to take care of some of your own animals, feel free to stop by and pick up some things too, like food, litter, toys, or straw. I feel like I've changed a lot while volunteering at the shelter. I've noticed and heard from a lot of people that I'm a lot more social than I was before, and I'm really happy with that change. I've always been quiet and would hardly talk to anyone, and I feel like my senior project really helped me get out of my comfort zone to be more social. My senior project really helped me prepare for my life after high school, because I've had a lot of really good experiences here, where I've learned a lot of new skills like being more social, learning how to collaborate and communicate with people around me in a lot of different environments like school, work, or just my everyday life. And because of this, I want to give a huge thanks to all of my teachers at Amy Beale High School and everyone who has helped me through my journey. Thank you.